What's good, YouTube? As you can see, it's your boy, BG Tech Life. And today, we got the Pixel 6a on deck. The Pixel 6a is just a device I keep around, guys. I love this little device in the era of big, big devices. Sometimes it's nice to have something nice and minimal to have in your hand that's not going to bring off writers in the future. But what I want to do today is talk about this update we got, guys. It is the beginning of a new year, 2023, and Google has released a January update for the Pixel 6a, the Pixel 7 Pro. Let's just go ahead and get into it. First and foremost, shout out to Team Pixel, guys. They definitely sent this Pixel 6a out. I've been using it since it came out, and this is just a handy, handy device, guys, whose reputation only got bigger and better as we got towards the end of the year. The phone only got better and cheaper. That's just a combination you don't really hear of these days, but very, very dope. Now, before we get into it, if you fit in my home screen, guys, and my wallpaper and stuff, before you drop in the comments, you gotta check Blendy or Wallrod. Either one of those apps, that's where the wallpaper is at, guys. That's like one of my most popular comments where to get the wallpaper and all my wallpapers come from blendy or wallrod those apps are actually on the google play store blendy or wallrod that's not no pay advertisement i'm just trying to answer the question before y'all hit me with it now let's just get into it if we go to system system update as you can see i'm on the android 13 security patch january 5th so i took it straight to google support guys so i can talk to you guys about the stuff that's going on with this update definitely we got a couple big things going on in this update the pixel 4a and up has got the update pixel 4a up the pixel 7 pro this is my pixel 6a that we are using right now let's just go over the list so january 2023 includes bug fixes and improvements for pixel users we got audio we got add support for spatial audio with certain devices and accessories so if you got earbuds and things of that nature that that's ready to pair with spatial audio you can definitely get you some spatial audio now in this pixel ecosystem so that's definitely dope we got additional improvements for fingerprint recognition and response in certain conditions so they've been working they've been working on these fingerprint scanners on these devices since the pixel 6 pro drop and the pixel 6 is dropped or whatever but i think it's very dope how hard they're working they're chiseling away at this device guys i have no issues with the fingerprint scanner but they're still working to make this just one of the best and most competitive devices on the market and you get that goodness all the way down to the budget pixel device this is not a pixel 7 pro this is a pixel 6a that you can go out and find for 299 so i find that very dope we got uh, some Bluetooth fixes, fix for issue occasionally preventing certain Bluetooth low energy devices or accessories from pairing or reconnecting, fix for issue preventing audio from playing over certain headphones or accessories while connecting in certain conditions. One of the best things about owning a Pixel device is your complaints and your issues don't fall on deaf ears. That's one thing about, that's one thing that I love about Pixel guys, when you're dealing with Google, they're gonna get the software right. If the software is not right, if this is an issue, if people are complaining, they're gonna put their hands on the software and try to fix it to the best of their capability. But um, let's keep it going. So the fix for the camera, occasional, uh, occasionally causing capture photos to appear corrupted or distorted while zoomed in. I have noticed that. I have noticed that before, not all the times, but I have noticed it. Definitely an issue that you will want to fix if you're experiencing it. So we got display and graphics fix for uh issue occasionally preventing display from waking or pairing turned off while device is powered on that definitely fixes some things some issues that people have been complaining about we got a user interface uh fix for issue occasionally causing the ui to display and landscape mode while device is held in portrait mode yeah all these little kinks definitely are being worked out by google like i said that's one thing i love about these devices guys they constantly work on these devices. They're constantly chiseling. It's not months and months without updates. And these updates really count. They're security patches, but you're also getting feature drops and you're getting a lot of bug fixes. Things just don't linger on Google devices. They work and they try to make them better. I just wanted to go over the January 2023 update with you guys, let you know what's out there, let you know that you need to go ahead and update your pixel but this your man bg tech life if you're not following me on instagram and twitter go and follow me bg underscore tech life if you're not subscribed to the channel get subscribed it's your man bg i'm out peace mm -hmm.